I've still been looking for an affordable crimping tool for the 1.25mm pitch Clickmate terminals. A comment on my IWS 3220M versus Clickmate video mentioned the PA09 crimpers, so I looked them up. I didn't see any mention of the Clickmate terminals on the Amazon page or the couple others I looked at. I guess that's one reason these didn't come up in my search for a Clickmate crimping tool. I am a bit surprised these didn't pop up on Amazon as a related item though. But on the Engineer Inc. webpage, they have a crimp contacts chart. And lo and behold, the Clickmate terminal I'm using is listed as working with the PA09 tool. So I decided to give one a try. It was like $37, so about $10 more than the IWS 3220M, so still a very affordable tool. Even though they don't have much weight to them, there is a very nice quality feel to them. The ones I received are made in Taiwan and not Japan. I guess it's a possibility these are a knockoff. But if you were going to make fake ones, would you do it in Taiwan? And even more so, would you list it made in Taiwan? If anyone knows for sure if any of the Engineer Inc. tools are made in Taiwan, would be great to get a comment on it. The tool has four different size crimps. The surface has a black paint on it with these sizes and the tool name printed on it. Nothing special about this. The curved lobes are more symmetrical than the IWS 3220M. I don't know if that will make for a better crimp or not. I suspect it very well might do a better job of rolling the terminal tabs. A lock lever to keep the tool closed. And it doesn't get in the way when using the tool, which is appreciated. It also has a pretty hefty spring, with what I feel delivers just the right amount of resistance, which is a very nice detail. Using this crimp tool will be a two-step process. First crimp the wire, and then crimp the insulation. This might work a bit better than the one-step crimp of the IWS 3220M. I felt the IWS 3220M tool was over crimping the insulation to get a good crimp on the wire. So much so it was deforming the terminal, making it extremely difficult to insert into the housing. The crimping surface of the tool also has the black paint on it. That will wear off quite quickly. Can see where just a few crimps have removed most of the paint from the 1mm section. I don't really see that making any difference to the crimp. It does look like the crimping surface of the PA09 is quite a bit smoother than the crimping surface of the IWS 3220M. Just looks like better surface machining. Does any of this make for a better crimp? Well, let's see how they work on the tiny Clickmate 1.25mm pitch terminals. I did a few crimps to try and get the feel for the tool. I started with some 28 gauge wire. As the IWS 3220M did a much better job with 28 gauge versus 26 gauge and I wanted to compare against the best I could get from the IWS 3220M. So I did like six of these, and I was very happy with five of the six. On the second one, I overcrimped the insulation and deformed the terminal. Now I know how much pressure not to apply. I had a much better success rate with the PA09 compared to the IWS 3220M, and that is with the 28 gauge wire. And the completed terminals fit in the housing very easy, really the way they should go in. That was not the case with the terminals I crimped with the IWS 3220M. Even using 28 gauge wire with the IWS 3220M crimp tool, it didn't really give me satisfactory results. It seemed almost every crimp would deform the width of the terminal, just enough to make it hard to insert two side-by-side -side terminals into the housing. Hence why I'm trying the PA09 crimp tool. I don't want to abandon the Clickmate connectors, I kinda like them. Here is where the PA09 succeeds when the IWS 3220M fails, crimping these terminals with a 26 gauge wire. I could never get a terminal to look this good with the IWS 3220M. With the PA09 the tabs are rolled very nicely. The terminal is not deformed, in fact it slides into the Clickmate housing just as easy as can be. This is way better than just getting by with. I'm very happy with the crimps this tool makes on the tiny Clickmate terminals. Not that this is the perfect tool for these terminals. The jaw thickness at the 1 and 1.4 mm dies is about 1.7 mm thick. That is really too thick for these terminals. With the wire tab being about 0.7 mm wide and there being about a 0.7 mm gap between the wire tab and the insulation tab, these terminals barely fit in the jaws. I found that the insulation tab has to be almost up against the face of the jaw to work properly. Anything more than a couple of tenths of a millimeter away and damage to the contact blades of the terminal can occur. The wider jaws also make it difficult to see where the wire leads are. 
aligning the end of the leads with the backside of the jaw seems to produce a decent outcome. Just short of the backside seems to be a bit better, but it's very easy to have the leads end up too short. So much harder to crimp properly with the tool in a vise instead of in my hand, but it's the only way I've found to get a decent image of the crimping process. Tool does a very nice job of rolling the tabs over. If the jaws were about 1.2 millimeters thick instead of 1.7, I think it would make doing these much easier. The upper jaw has quite steep sides, so the insulation tabs have to be straightened before the insulation crimp can be done. The nose of the tool has a flat area to do just that. The insulation crimp seems the most sensitive to the pressure applied. I found it better to go light on the pressure. If the crimp is not enough, can put it back in and crimp it a bit more. Whereas if I over crimp it, have to cut the terminal off and start again. I wouldn't trust doing that with the wire crimp, but I don't see a problem doing it with the insulation. Looks aside, I think the best test of a crimp is how easy it is to pull the wire out. Well, if the tabs aren't rolled over, that might be a long-term problem, even if the wire is held tight at the moment. So for this test, I'm just going to crimp the wire I will roll over the insulation tabs, but not enough for them to crimp on the wire, just so the terminal has its normal form. This vise weighs around 8 pounds. I'll clamp the end of the terminal into it. I'll pull straight up on the wire. Well, I'm lifting the vise, let me add a bit more weight. Looks like almost five and a half pounds. That is way more than I was expecting. 26 gauge is a pretty small wire. And it turns out the wire didn't even pull out of the crimp. It broke off right at the crimp. Maybe I even damaged the wire at the crimp by over crimping it a bit. I'll try it again with a bit less crimp pressure. Well, best I can judge. That looked to be over six pounds. But that's not good on the scale. Not good at all. I think I need to make a jig to actually do a proper test for this. I'll have to think about that. Now the wire broke in multiple spots, not just at the crimp. I don't really think can ask more than that of a wire crimp. I think this does go to show how important it is for the tabs to be rolled into the wire. It just makes the crimp so much stronger. Here I'm going to try the Molex SL terminals. The IWS 3220M did a great job with these. The wire crimp goes into the 1.4 millimeter slot, again using 26 gauge wire here. I'll use the 1.6 millimeter slot for the insulation clamp. Looks great, but so did the crimp from the IWS 3220M and it did it in one step. I'll probably continue to use the IWS 3220M for these because it's easy and I don't really see much difference in the crimps. Here's a terminal that gave me a bit of a problem with the IWS 3220M. To be fair, it didn't do too well with any of the crimp tools I had. This is a Harwin M22 series 2mm pitch terminal. For the wire tab, I will use the 1.4 millimeter section. Looks good. I will also use the 1.4 millimeter section for the insulation tabs. Rolled very nicely. This terminal barely fits in the IWS 3220M and I could not get a good insulation crimp on the 26 gauge wire. I had to use a second tool to crimp the insulation tabs a bit more. This is by far the best crimp I've gotten on these. This is a Molex KK254 terminal. If you have made up fan cables for a PC, then this terminal will be familiar to you. I think it's a pretty common terminal and a pretty old one. Again, the IWS 3220M had trouble with the insulation crimp. Probably if using the larger wire size one of these terminals, the IWS 3220M would probably do fine. But this is the 22 to 30 gauge wire size terminal and I'm using a 26 gauge wire. 
I'll use the 1.6 millimeter section to do both the wire crimp and the insulation crimp. I have tried the 1.9 millimeter section for the insulation crimp and it seems to do fine as well. Just a bit better roll on this small wire with the 1.6 millimeter section. That looks like a fine wire crimp to me. So what do I think after about 50 terminals? First, this PA09 tool does a good job of crimping the 1.25 millimeter pitch clickmate terminals. And that's the only tool I have that I can say that about. And that was the entire purpose of buying the tool. So I'm very pleased with that. So the small clickmate connectors can stay in my okay to use list, even if making up the cables is a bit tedious. I like the idea of a one step crimp, but in reality, it doesn't seem to work out so well for a general purpose crimp tool. Of the, I think six terminals I use, only the Molex SL terminals work great in the IWS 3220M. Of course, that's the most common terminal I use, so I'm still very happy with the IWS 3220M, especially for the price. That being said, every terminal I tried with the PA09, I was able to get a good crimp. So the two-step crimping makes for a much more versatile tool. If there could be only one, the PA09 would have to be the one. At about $40, I wouldn't consider the PA09s really cheap. They're certainly not expensive. It seems to be very well made, with really smooth crimp forms that do a great job of rolling over the terminal tabs. If you're looking for a crimp tool for the smaller size electronic terminals that doesn't break the bank, I think the Engineer PA09 might be at the top of the list. I know they are now my favorite crimp tool. Thank you for watching.